Hello and welcome to Bitfumes and now it's time to start Laravel 0 and as I told you on the first episode, Laravel 0 is a micro framework for creating a command line application or console applications. It is a useful tool and by using this tool, I have created the Packer, Laravel Packer, which is useful for creating packages and it will just create the scaffolding for your packages. So obviously we have reviewed Laravel Packer, but how we can start with Laravel 0? So it's very simple. Yeah, you need to go to this website laravel-0.com. Then just click on the getting started and we have simple installation page which is just saying that you need to install it globally so if i now here go and i will say level hyphen zero and hit enter yeah it says command not found so what if i do this installation so after installing yeah we can use it just like this level zero and some command so we will see after installing and as you can see Laravel 0 is now installed so what if I say Laravel hyphen 0 and hit enter still it's saying Laravel because yeah we need to complete the word correctly so Laravel 0 and obviously this time also I have not written it correctly no problem so let's now hit enter and yeah you can see it simply says Laravel 0 2.0.2 which is this one it's very easy and you just have a single command which is saying that level 0 new and the application name so now I will go inside the desktop so let's cd into desktop and I will say level 0 new and what application we are going to say so suppose we are going to create an application where whatever user type as the questions we are going to ask and we will create a folder and a file and put these answers on that file so why not call this as q and a simple uh, level new q and a so app name is q and a if i hit enter it's crafting the application that means it's doing something on the background to create application and what it actually do it actually uses laravel component so as you can see it says application ready build something amazing and this level zero actually uses symphony component and symphony process and you can see some of the illuminate components which are the part of level and by using these things we have our application ready so if i go inside my application so i can see that the q and a is here so let's open this q and a with vs code and here on this VS code, you can see this is application created by level zero installer. So it has various things composer.json. First thing we need to look upon this is that you can see it uses this framework and we have something which is called bin. So bin having value of q and a this means when you install your application it's going to be inside a bin folder of composer global install and which far file it's going to use so actually when you build your application final build then it create the level zero create a far file dot phar far file and that far file is going to use to buy the command line just like uh, the command line is created for level zero so actually this is also a command line which is created by level zero itself okay so let's move on and let, let's start by creating our application so if i open the console how we can check which commands we have so first thing on our app folder we have commands folder and we have a demo command which is called inspiring command to see what are the commands you have created you need to say php then it's not artisan you just need to say php and your application name so my application name is q and a so the command is like php 
Q&A and if I hit enter, you can see it's first say it's unreleased. So it's not released yet. And now it says the command I have is inspiring. We have three development commands. So these commands are only for development purpose and this command also for development purpose. But this is going to be useful when we want another command. So let's say I want to create a command. So I will say php qna make and command and what command we are going to say so let's say i'm going to ask for username and email and then we will save name and email on a file so how we can do all these things so simply we need to say uh, command is profile simple enough so as i have done this you can see the profile command is created and this command is actually extending command which is actually the level 0 framework command okay this includes exactly same as you have probably seen on the level artisan console so if you are familiar how to create artisan commands it's very easy although it's very easy why because you just need to give the command name it's just like the signature so command name is profile and what i want from the user we want the user name so i will say name here so name is an argument so i will say the description save name and email into a file okay so we have two functions handle function and schedule function so we are not going to use schedule function so everything that means whenever this command is going to run it just firstly call the handle command so if i use diadem and i will say hello there and what i'm going to do this time again i will say php q and a hit enter and now because i have created a new command that command is instantly listed on our list of Q and A commands. So profile is the command which I have created here and the description is given here, save name and email. So what if I will say PHP Q and A profile, hit enter and it says you have said that this command require an argument called name, but you have not given that name. So I will say my name so q a profile sarthak so yeah it says hello there so why not get the actual name whatever the name we are passing so i will say argument and argument name is name so remove this semicolon and hit enter and this time sarthak and if i say here bit fumes yeah bit fumes is here so this is okay but we want email also so we can simply say email okay so this time if i hit enter yeah it says hey email is not there so i will say sarthak at bitfumes.com hit enter and now bitfumes is there and if you want the email so email will be we get email also so where's that yeah like that so this is the way you can get the input from the user but there is another way so if you go to level zero documentation and by the way if you are not getting this like uh, level zero uh, like this kind of things if you hit this and it says command not found what you need to do you need to have this kind of uh, path on your mac os or obviously if you are on windows you need to search for the bin for this composer and then it will going to work okay so move on so usage so as i told you you can create the command we have done that yeah it's very easy to create the notification so what if i will do this notify and i will say this is notification description and then it is good so let's once more try and this time you can see this is the notification you will get on this screen and if you provide the icon here so icon will come here so we are not going to do that 
so this is the introduction of how you can get started with level zero but from the next episode we are actually going to create uh, that uh, application we have discussed that means saving the name and email into a file so we will meet in the next episode if you have liked this episode please go and share it with your friends if you have not subscribed go and subscribe to this channel for more updates you can like uh, bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye